go on YouTube. Today I got a horns knife. I think this will be the first one I've had on the channel. It's a china knife. Nothing really to the box and paperwork. So all the money goes into the knife. Here's your model number if you need to know that. Here's the knife. It's a JG10 knife. So it's a budget knife. But it's a unique budget knife, at least in the shape and all that. Um, these are run for $44 normally, but right now on Amazon they were $26. I'm not sure if they'll still be on sale at the time of upload, but I'll have it linked down below. Yeah, this is the Harns Time. Not sure if I said that. 14C28N. Probably the cheapest 14C knife I've ever bought. You got a 3.2 inch 14C28N blade, the satin finish. Uh, I'm not sure. It's kind of a drop point, but almost a clip point. Partial flat grind. Got a blade stock of 3.1 millimeters or 0.12 inches. And it's 8 inches overall, so a full size knife. Let's do a few size comparisons. Damned Designs Brahma. Sincut Watuga. These are all pretty close to the same length. Bosteed Thunderbird. CJRB Lago. Pretty close to the same length as these as well. Definitely the cheapest of the four knives I've showed, or five. <laughs> A 4.84 inch JG10 handle, 0.56 inches wide, and the widest width right here is 1.4 inches. You have T6 screws, besides the pivot, and maybe this screw. Let me check. Yep, they're all T6 except for the pivot. Four point six ounces, so not the lightest, but it does have weight relief and it's not that heavy. And it is a liner lock with good access. Real easy to get in there. Have a lanyard hole and a pretty long backspacer that wraps around. Like to see that. You have a couple different deployment options. You have a flipper tab that didn't jump all the way around, so it's kind of smooth right here. You can push button it or light switch it. I don't think you can tell it. Nope. Real positive detent. You can reverse flick it. Or thumb flick it. You have a nice sharpening tool. Tons of room to sharpen. Now before I go over my dislikes, I'm not entirely sure if this clip is reversible. I'm not sure if you can take that screw and switch it over here, so I'm gonna take it apart and find out real quick. Alright, it is not reversible, unfortunately. I should have known that from looking at this. Dislikes on this knife, um, none of them really affect the way the knife functions. So, but My biggest one is probably this huge Harns logo on the blade. Uh, not really a huge deal for most people though. Um, blade could have been thinner. It's not the sliciest. 
not thick, overly thick, but it's 14 C 28 in, pretty tough steel. They could have put thinner edge on there easily. Um, they could have done some more jimping. Right here is okay, but on the flipper tab, they should have jimped it all the way around. Of course, I love to see inset liners, but that's just me. And um, handle's a little bit awkward. Even though it's not as uncomfortable as it looks. You see this hump right here? You gotta rest your thumb right there. Which it really isn't bad. And the pocket clip doesn't poke you too much. So it's really not that bad. And the scales are pretty textured. So you're not going to lose grip of it. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. First time I've seen JG10, it looks like that. Yeah, um, no really big complaints. Of course, T6s suck, but $26, 14C, 28N, full size knife with good action, ball bearings, nice detent. I can't complain. So, yeah. I'll have this link down below. Um, my Instagram links link down below too if you don't mind following me. And uh, give me a like and a comment. And see you on the next one.